eye-opening numbers tonight from the Florida Department of Law Enforcement. More than 13,000 rape kits in Florida are untested. 13,000. FDA says that it's clearing the backlog. It needs to be a priority, but that's not an easy task. Fox 13's Aaron Mesmer joins us now in studio to explain more about this, Aaron. Kelly, this could take years and cost tens of millions of dollars. The FDA says there are a lot of reasons why these kits have gone untested, but there's one major reason why they need to be. Public safety. 13,000 rape kits in Florida untested. At least 1,600 of those are from Tampa Bay. Victims advocates say those are staggering and sad numbers. It takes a lot of courage. It takes a lot of, she's very brave. And, um, and then to have to say it's not moving forward, um, that's very difficult. The Florida Department of Law Enforcement tallied the statistics. According to the agency's report, in 40% of the cases, the victims declined to proceed with the investigation, and another third of them, prosecutors decided not to move forward. And according to Kathleen Kempke with Crisis Center of Tampa Bay, cost often comes into play. It's an expensive process. They have to be trained, and you want them well trained. Um, folks that do this, and so that's probably the main reason. So all of those rape kits sit in labs and evidence collection rooms. FDLE wants each one of them tested. One goal is to come up with evidence, DNA perhaps, that could help find suspects in cases where there currently are none. Well, the hope is that we'll have more cases prosecuted because we have more evidence. Governor Scott is committing eight and a half million dollars. FDLE is going to do their job. We're going to make sure they're funded to make sure they can do their job. But FDLE determined clearing the backlog could cost up to 32 million. The governor wants to try to fund every penny. I'm going to work with the legislature to make sure it's fully funded. Advocates hope that happens because there are a lot of victims counting on it. My hope, and of course the hope I think of of, uh, of of victims, is that they, you know, will they will be prosecuted and there'll be justice. And according to the FDLE report, the best way to handle the backlog is through outsourcing some of the untested kits, using federal funds for new technology, and using state funds to pay lab technicians overtime. The FDLE is planning to present its findings to the legislature. Mark? Aaron.